it everybody and welcome back to a new video today i'm going to be giving you all the championship kits for the 2022-23 efl champion season all ranked together if you could like the video and subscribe to the channel that would be greatly appreciated i really appreciate all the support across the channel it's fantastic thank you all without any further ado let's get started the top of the alphabet with Birmingham. Birmingham this year have came up with this horizontal blue texture stripes and it looks decent but it's just too simple in my opinion and really not that effort much effort put into this kit. So I'm gonna have to put it in a pretty mad place. 16th place. And now moving on to Blackburn Rovers of Lancashire. We have this retro looking beauty, the blue and the white with a little bit of red. It looks fantastic. The traditional half and half of Blackburn Rovers, perfectly symmetrical. This kit is fabulous and it's gonna go in a high ranked place, sixth place for this beauty. Now moving on to another Lancashire team, Blackpool. This modern classic overlay of the orange texture close in the kit is absolutely beautiful. Fantastic jersey done here. The Utila works. It's not too bad. This is a fantastic jersey, second place. Next up we have the Bristol City home kit where you have the nice traditional red of Bristol mixed in with the white collar. It's a really nice kit, it's pretty clean, and it's gonna look good at Bristol, hopefully get a mid-table finish this season in this nice home strip. I'm gonna rank this fifth. Now moving on to Burnley, whose kit looks like a bunch of painted paper towels that were painted claret and blue. It still looks good though, and it's like a nice scattered, recycled texture kit. It looks weird in some places, in some places it looks okay. Sometimes I look at it, I don't know what to think of it. Other times I have different opinions. All in all, it's a pretty good kit, and I'll rank Burnley in a solid 13th place. Now moving on to Cardiff City. They've ditched Adidas because they've made some pretty atrocious home shirts and now they're going with New Balance. We've got a white collar and a blue shirt. It's really basic. There's really just not much to the shirt at all. 19th place. Now we're moving on to Coventry. Yeah. Coventry released this as their home kit, and it looks like you put an x-ray of broken bones on the kit, and it looks completely atrocious. You don't put broken bones on the traditional Coventry blue. Central badge looks nice. You tried, but you failed miserably. Absolute disgrace of a kit. Rock bottom, 21st place. Don't put a broken bone x-ray on the kit, Coventry. Now, we're going for 20th place. We've got the Huddersfield home kit. Now, it's a good kit. It's a really nice kit with the blue and the white. But then there's the sponsor. The monochrome rainbow texture out of the blue. Like it's a coloring book with some freaking unicorns that a second grader drew and then a part of it just fills in the utila sponsor you could have just done a nice utila sponsor like blackpool but instead we have a cutout of a unicorn and it just pasted on a football shirt soccer shirt whatever you want to call it and it's completely ruined a huddersfield home shirt which had potential but now it's going to have to be in 20th place moving on to Hull City now, and they've came up with a bit of a classic shirt. I really like this one. It's not too aggressive. It looks pretty nice. You have the 
orange and black stripes of Hall, it's a calm shirt, not too crazy like the last two we've seen. It works, it's going to look good on the players, you've got a good new owner, got the old one out, they got this sponsor. It's, it's a really nice kit and I'm going to put it in 8th place. And now moving on to Luton Town, but you have to release the kit, so you have to go in 24th place, which is the worst spot below all the released kits. Now moving on to Middlesbrough. You have the sponsor completely making the whole section of the kit white and ruining the Middlesbrough red. I don't like that collar with it going, sticking down there all the way to the neck and it just looks really awkward. Middlesbrough sponsors have ruined their kits for years now. Three straight years with this awful idea. It used to be 32 red and now it's Unibet and it just looks completely awful. Middlesbrough, 18th place. And now we have the Millwall kit, where you have the traditional Millwall navy blue with the really nice pattern on the front of the kit and a beautiful white collar. This is a fantastic job done, Millwall. Your kits have looked really good. It's not a leisure kit. It's a fantastic pattern on the front, which makes the kit stick out. It keeps it Millwall, but it also doesn't make it boring. Fantastic kit, Millwall. You're going in a respectable eighth place. Now moving on to Norwich City. And this is what soccer shirts are supposed to look like. Look at those beautiful overlapping collar. Look at those sleeve cuffs. You have the pinstripe design, the nice bright Norwich green and yellow. You have the new minimalized, but still actually good Norwich badge. And it actually looks good. For once, I'm complimenting a soccer shirt because some of these shirts you see these days are just so bad. They don't try anything new, but look at that collar right there. Absolutely fabulous. All soccer shirts look the same except this one pretty much because this is an absolute beauty. Norwich City, Lotus, this is a fantastic sponsor there. It doesn't ruin the kit. It just works so well. Norwich City, you are getting top spot, top of the podium, first place, Norwich City. Fantastic job. You've smashed your kids for years. This is an absolute banger of a jersey. And also their kit last year was great. I don't understand what you're saying if you don't like that. But anyway, this year, first place, Norwich City. Now for Preston, but you haven't released a kit, so we're skipping you. On to QPR. You have the horizontal blue stripes, a nice piping that's on the sleeves it screams qpr it's a nice kit done by area clean kit typical qpr kit it's good it's solid and it's getting 10th place moving on to reading but you haven't released a kit so we're skipping you now for rotterdam where you have the big red stripe down the middle kind of last year arsenal ish the nice collar, the simple kit, but it works. They just got promoted and they'll probably get relegated. But the kit is nice enough and it's going to be going in 12th place. Moving on to Sheffield United. But you haven't released a kit, so you're going to go in 22nd place. Now for Stoke City. And I love this kit. The Bet365 doesn't interfere. They actually own the club, so that has to be the sponsor. So they made it work. The way they did the stripes is so good. It's not typical boring Stoke jersey from the last 70,000 years. They actually did a good job making the stripes interesting. So the shirt doesn't bore you to death. Kind of optical illusion-esque. And it's a really nice shirt done by Stoke City, 7th place. Moving on to Sunderland, you've got a pretty basic red and white stripes. It's nothing too special. The spread X isn't the worst. Traditional shirt. 
it's decent, very mid-table kit. I'm not crazy about it, but it's nothing offensive. So 14th place. Next, we have the Swansea Home Shirt. And you have a white with a leisure wear collar, some red around there. It's nice kit. It's a bit fancy. And it's going to work. Swansea seem to do something new with their kits every year. And this one works. I really like this kit. So it's going to be going in a decent high and mid table 12, 10th place. Sorry. Now we go with Watford. And you came up with an absolute beauty. The yellow with the red trim on the side is fantastic. Retro kit fantastic strip hopefully you're promoting this under rob edwards i adore this kit watford fourth place now moving on to west bromwich albion you have this kind of retro badge you have these three stripes it's better than last year's but that really isn't saying much i don't like these just massive blocks down the middle west brom i'm sorry but you have to go in a pretty low 17th place and now for our final team, Wigan Athletic. We have this Big Help Project sponsor with this blue and white texture. Screams Wigan Athletic. Hopefully you'll stay up in this after you just got promoted from League One. It's a nice kit, Wigan. It's good. So you're going to go in 11th place because you came up with a quality strip. Well, that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate all the support. And until next time, I'll see ya.